we are gonna keep this going. I did already type it. Okay, cool. We are on Dragoon now, which is level 72, so I will be doing two in a row. Um, different videos, obviously, because I like to keep them, keep them separate. This one is No Greater Sport, given to us by L-U-E hyphen R-E-E-Q, Lurik is what I'm going to be calling him. It is the Mistel blue-haired, um, what do you have? Uh, a bow and arrow, so this is another bowed individual. But less armored, if that matters, in comparison to the other hunter guy. Anyway, anyway let's see what's up. Cutscene, talking to him. Crosses his arms. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be. He looks at your gear, which is nothing like super fancy. It's like kind of green. Like, honestly, ranger-ish gear. But I'm a dragoon right now, so. Yes, of course you are. Tis plain from the way you carry yourself. You're just the sort of woman I've been looking for. You're perfect. Um, I don't know where I was going with that accent. I think I'm not going to try it. I don't know what I would do with this accent, honestly. My name is Lou Reek, and I am a bounty hunter. But not just any bounty hunter. I will have you know, nay, I am not wont to settle for a run-of-the-mill prey. I hunt sin eaters. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> That's not a thing I'm trying to do with this voice. It's just me talking stupidly. Not only that, I have recently set my sights on a particularly notable, uh, yeah, notable fiend. One of the four cardinal virtues. Those infamous instigators of the flood itself. Naturally, it will take considerable strength and skill to defeat such a formidable eater, and I am not afraid to admit I cannot do it alone. However, with the aid of uh, equally formidable allies, I am confident it can be done. And you, my friend, are, the, are exactly the sort of ally I have in mind to recruit. Walk away without a word or feign interest. Um, w w interesting choices there. I'll feign interest. <gasps> Like, you look a little shocked for a second and excited. Aha! I knew you'd be interested. And should the challenge alone be an insufficient motivation, know that I have substantial financial resources at my disposal. You will be duly compensated for your service, rest assured. Doesn't look that rich, but whatever. However, as much as I am certain you are the right woman for the job, tis only meet that I put your skills to the proof. A simple test should suffice. Pray do, pray do not be offended, but you would be shocked how many people present themselves falsely in order to enrich themselves or to impress others. Is he kind of hinting at himself there? He walks off. I shrug. I... Well, I'm about to follow, but that doesn't happen in the cutscene. He knows he's got me. Alright. Um, fastest way will be to go to the Ethernet shard here. And then go to the the gate to, to Lakeport. Lakeland, whatever it's called. Lakeland. Tessellation. Mount up. Got some running to do. Again, purple grass where there is grass. Purple bushes where there are bushes. Some kind of bluish bushes as well, but... Purple flowers, purple tree leaves, purple motif all along this area. I should look up if there's anything at all to do with what are they called? Um, the company seals. Because I have 50,000. And doing, doing these little, um, fuck, what are they called? Uh, the blue circles where you, ah, damn it, uh, not trials, not leave meets, um, god damn, sometimes I forget the name of them because I do them so infrequently. I have no need to do them. Just kind of, sometimes they look fun. Um, fates, there we go, thank you. Thank you to no one, thank you to myself for remembering finally. Because it doesn't. That, that word does not show up when you hover over them. So it's just... The chameleons have a body press move, which is probably... I didn't stick around to see what it was, but I'm assuming it's a circular AoE. Um, like a body slam. Okay, here's Lou Reek. Amongst some trees. Cutscene. Here we are. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I had something in my throat. 
Here we are, our proving grounds. You, you need only slay a beast of suitable ferocity before my very eyes to demonstrate your own. Naturally, we re we require bait to lure out one out of one out of hiding. Sorry. <sighs> um. Oh wait, my lord, got your package here. This is a hired hand. Referencing. Lou Reek. Well done, my good man, and here is your payment. Okay. And the... That dude had, like, a massive pole armor on his back. Like, how is he a messenger? Oh, this? The bait in question? Easier to have it delivered than to take a detour and pick it up myself. Rather more efficient as well. Time is money. Now then, you need only place it in the open and slay whatever comes to claim it. I cannot imagine it will take long for something to come hither. My lord. Why, my lord? I see. Sorry. For who I am. Use the bait. Iguana meat. Okay. Do these sin eaters eat meat for some reason? I rather thought that they needed living beings to turn into other sin eaters, but... Okay. This is new. Wait. Wait for and slay the wild bee. Okay, so it's actually a wild bee. Smilodon, a ravenous Smilodon. Crazy, yo. Let's do that shit. I almost fucked it up by. I did press the wrong button, but it didn't have to do anything. Don't I have a. No. Wait, I do. There's... My AoE rotation now has three skills, so I, I do have that to contend with. Damn, I took a lot of damage there. Like, I got down to a quarter health even with my life surge heal. Fantastic! I knew I was not wrong about you. Come, let us return to the Crystarium at once. He walks off, I return, literally, via the return spell, I guess you could call it. Action, option, ability. Right. Quick, teleport over to Musica. Quick, sprinting jaunt up the stairs to the wandering stairs. Is that what it's called? And look it up. The Wandering Stairs. There it is. There's another person talking to Lou Reek. Congratulations on a kill well made, my good woman. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Let us commemorate the occasion with a feast. Eat, drink, and be merry. Cutscene. Grunt, crunch, crunch, snort, slurp, grunt. Wonderful stuff, isn't it? My compliments to the chef. <coughs> Belch. Sorry. Another helping? No. Are you sure? It really is no bother. Oh, very well. I should like to return to our earlier discussion, that of the virtue I have engaged you to hunt with me. Cutscene. Kind of a flash at the ranger. The, um, I think she's in the coat. Andrea is her name, and she roams Norvrant in the guise of Renda Ray, fallen warrior of light and renowned hunter of Eld. She's the most elusive eater who has been sighted in every corner of the realm. Though her movements are unpredictable, she has often been witnessed pursuing and slaying extra extraordinarily dangerous beasts. I can well imagine the question forming in your head. Why not leave her be? If anything, is she not uh, aiding local communities after a fashion? Alas, no, for the beasts she slays uh, arise anew as eaters, which pose even greater threats to the small folk. So you see, this one wretched sin eater is in truth sowing untold chaos by carrying on as she does, unleashing more of her kind in, on unsuspecting towns and villages all across Norvrant. Only you and I can stop her. Cutscene comes back to us. So she was a warrior of light? Or didn't the warriors of light save the world? So she was a warrior of light? Huh? What an odd thing to ask, but never mind all that. Whether or not they were heroes or villains or whatever a hundred years ago doesn't matter to me. The simple truth is, Renderay was the greatest hunter who ever lived, and beating her at her own game, 
uh, would be an amazing feat, don't you think? And regardless of what the Warriors of Light were before they became Sin Eaters, that's what they are now. So to be doing folks a favor by killing one. Well, what say you, friend? Will you hunt Andrea with me? <sighs> with pleasure. Or, I hope I live to regret this. He shrugged while saying it. So begins our formal partnership. Ah, I can see it now. You and me in the heat of battle, fighting side by side, the picture of courage and camaraderie. It's going to be grand. Naturally, it will take us some time to study and understand our prey. Eaters can behave in strange and inexplicable ways, particularly powerful ones like Andrea. I'm doing my best to get inside her head, to think like a hunter, but it is easier said than done. Anyway, as soon as I have determined where we, we ought to begin our search, I will inform you at once. No greater sport is complete. Just want to make sure everything is complete with this quest before I... Oh, hold on. It's not. Oh, is the reward lacking? My apologies. Next time I will see that you receive rather more substantial compensation. And now it's complete. Um, quick little non-sponsor sponsor thingy is Skechers Men's Non-Slip Black Shoes. I'm just not realizing if... You... I might only get a cut if you purchase literally the exact same size and color that I purchased. And I'm a size 10 and a half. So, anyway, um, they're great for non-slip. They've been great for the catering job I have with Moe's Southwest Grill. Um, zero slip issues. Pretty comfortable for my plantar fasciitis. If you purchase them via my link, you, I get a cut. I will see you next time.